I have a Redmi Note 11 here. I'm going to show you how to transfer photos and videos directly from your phone to a Windows computer, laptop, or PC using the charging cable. First thing is go ahead and grab your charging cable and unplug the USB-A to my USB port into my laptop here. Next, go ahead and grab your phone. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and plug it in like that. And now you want to go ahead and sign in. So let's sign in. And then as soon as you sign in, this should pop up right here. It says use for USB, okay? And what you want to do is tap, right now it says no data transfer. What you want to do is go down to where it says file transfer slash Android auto, okay? The thing is if this doesn't appear, then what you got to do is just go ahead and slide down notifications. Just go in the top middle of your phone. We're going to slide down. And then you should see this here. It says charging this device via USB. Tap for more options. So we're going to go ahead and tap that. And then all of a sudden this pops up again. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and tap on file transfer right there. Now I'm simply going to lay down my phone. And what you want to do on the, your on your computer, now is, uh, your Windows computer, go to your file explorer. Okay, is that little yellow folder down there. So we're going to go ahead and open this up right down here. And now next, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the left pane here. We're going to go to my uh, this PC right here. So let's click on that. And now you can see down here, it says Redmi Note 11. So let's go ahead and double click on that. And now we're going to double click on internal shared storage. And now all your photos and videos that you take with your phone is going to be under the DCIM folder, okay? DCIM right here. So let me double click on that. And then I got my camera right here, my screen recorder, all my screen recording uh, videos are here, but my camera photos and videos are here. Let me double click on camera. And you can see I have, I don't have that many photos or videos on here, but you can see I have photos if it has a, if it says JPG file, a JPEG file. I know that they're video files if the, um, if the video name starts with vid, V-I-D. Okay, so video there, video there, video there. Okay, so now from here, you can drag and drop it, put it in a fo another folder, like here's a JPEG here. I can drag and drop this right onto the desktop right here and I can let go. And you can see it right there. What I typically do is this. I'll go to my desktop where there's open space here. I'll right click and I'll go down to new and I'll go to folder. And I'll just call this one Redmi. And then I can drag and drop whatever um, photo or video that I want into that folder and I'm gonna do the whole shebang so I'm gonna highlight all of them and I'm just gonna drag and drop into that new folder I called Redmi right there and I'm gonna let go and go ahead and let it copy okay looks like it's done let me close that window out and then from here I can even go ahead and unplug my phone and that folder Redmi all of my photos and videos should be on there as you can see right there. So from here I can go ahead and edit these or whatnot. Okay, pretty simple. Questions or issues, comment below. Good luck.